Here's another short video for my students who are having problems with trying to rotate things. So you may very well have found the rotate tool up here, but you don't actually always need to use it. So I've got the move tool currently selected and both of these things have been converted to groups. And what you'll find is with the move tool selected, if I hover over a face like this, these things, if you just hover just a moment over the crosses, you'll see that you can rotate. So by default, that's rotating in the middle. Let's just undo that and I can go around there. But each time it's rotating around the center point, I can go on a different face like that. And you'll notice then I could rotate it around that way. Or I could even go on the end and if I hover on that face, I can rotate it around that way. So let's just undo that. So um, that's, that's all right, so long as you're happy with it being rotated around the center point. But often that's not convenient. So let's just drop that uh, on there. And let's just uh, move along a little bit here. So how about if I wanted to like have that as a hinge point? So I need then to have that as the rotation point and not the center. So if you've got that situation, then you do need the rotation tool. I'll press Q, which gives me the shortcut for that. And then the first thing I need to do is to uh, choose the uh, right face. Now you'll notice that currently it's on, on green axis, but if I went air, then it's on the red axis and I can get the blue axis as well. But I, I want the green axis, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click there once because that's the point where I want the rotation to happen. And then I click once more and then I can go up and you see it hinges like that. So that's, that's quite straightforward. And I click once more and it's now stayed there. So I could even roll that over. So let's try and do that. So I'm going to this time go there, click once, I'll click again, and then I can hinge over like that. 